Lincoln Riley sucks. We have to do we we remind ourselves of this very often. Oklahoma fans, are you with me? Be what Big 12 fans who have been here for a while, are you with me? Lincoln Riley is just kind of a weird dude. He does some stuff where you're like, you oh, gross. Offensive genius, sure. I'll give him that. I will reluctantly give him that. Defensive guru, of course not. Of course not. Ability to woo a crowd and be kind of cringy in the process? Absolutely. Good guy? I don't think so. I don't think so. You saw how he cooked his brisket. That was bad. Number one. Now he comes after the media. Have you seen this? There's a reporter who apparently was asking questions after he came off the podium a couple weeks ago, and he didn't like that very much. And then this week, the reporter wrote an article that described about how one of the USC football players is having a conversation with the player off camera right before he walks, walks up to the podium. And he kind of asks his buddy to, hey, cheer me on. Or the player was nervous to go in front of the media. And this reporter at USC used it in his story, this little anecdote in his story. Um, that, you know, as he walked to the podium, he looked to his other teammate and said, you know, wish me luck. Or he seemed intimidated as he went in front of the cameras, which is something we totally write about. Right. You know, kid is it's a great way to start a story. You paint a picture of, hey, this kid was super scared, came to the podium then he was confident. Then, you know, here's kind of the vibe you're getting from this from this guy going into this week's game. And some of you will make the case be like, oh, he's a 21 year old or he's a 20 year old. And like, yeah, but also he's a college football player who's going in front of his. He's being sent in front of the media by the media handlers, these teams, the, the SIDs. And for this guy to write this thing, it's not abnormal. At worst, you could scold him a little bit. Be like, hey, man, don't write about that. Don't worry about the kid being nervous. Exclude that. Sure. Maybe I can vibe with you there. But no, not USC. They will not vibe with you. They said, boop, your credentials are revoked. This reminds me a lot of was it OU Daily? Was it there was a student, there were student media people at Oklahoma uh, that were not spying on practice. They were just from an adjacent roof watching a Oklahoma practice, the OU Daily newspaper, and noticed some things and reported on those things. And Oklahoma lost it. They went nuts. I'm like, well, you know, I mean, we're hanging out and we're just looking at what you what is right here. But Lincoln Riley runs a tight ship. He doesn't want anybody to see anything. Very secretive. And he makes a, a big deal out of things that shouldn't be a big deal. Does he seem like a drama queen to you? Now, there are some people who do it and they do it well. Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin has this drama queen thing to him where you're like, uh, oh, just Lane Kiffin trying to poke the bear, trying to stoke the fire every now and then. This is kind of dramatic, right? He likes to be a little flashy. But at the end of the day, whiskey's in hand just me and lane kiffin hanging out i bet he's a pretty cool dude and you know that you bet the exact same thing end of the day whiskey in hand lincoln riley me and lincoln riley are sitting around the fire and i'm thinking this dude stinks a little bit literally and figuratively i heard he smells so bad i've heard from people that he smells terrible and i don't understand as a head coach i think as a, as a public figure you are called to a different standard of uh, level-headedness of consistency because he just seems like a paranoid character like he's always paranoid about something dude what what are we doing revoking credentials for i think it's for two weeks with this with this reporter because he's just writing about what he sees what you have put in front of him by the way what you and your media people and the sids and the handlers and whatever have put in front of this reporter is what he's writing about Makes no sense in my brain why you'd be pissed off to the point where you pull this guy's credentials. As somebody who's been in some credential trouble before, athletic departments can do that whenever they want. They can pull your credentials for whatever they want. This being utterly, entirely asinine. Bush League, Lincoln Riley. But if, as we've learned from Oklahoma, the transition from OU to USC, he keeps doing interviews with people talking about how, or, but the thing a couple of weeks ago where he's like, yeah, people tried to rob me. People were breaking into my house. And the Norman police were like, no, nah, they weren't. That's, that's not true. Uh, yeah. There wasn't really anything real there. I don't know, man. You just would think at some point that Lincoln Riley would be adult about a lot of things. Because he keeps doing interviews just to stir stuff up about Oklahoma. What's the point, dude? Give up. You don't coach there anymore. I don't know, man. We could let bygones be bygones, but... That dude stinks. I stand by that. Right here on Lockdown Big 12, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network. Your team every day.